Hey kids, it's JJ again. I want to do a quick review on these little bad boys. These are very difficult to see. HGLRC BS28A ESCs, bullet ESCs, which I've been using all-in-ones quite a bit lately. Uh, these are 28 amp BL Heli S. I'll read the specs off to you momentarily here. I got these off of Gearbest. Um, and these things are amazing for what they are. They really are. Let me open one up. These things cost American monies $5.99 and they're 28 amp ESCs with running BL Heli S. And they do run D Shot 600, which is what I set everything up for. They come with tons of wire. You really only need these two, but they give you these three as well. Stellar. They give you a signal lead. These do not have BEX in them, they're optos, so that's cool. And it's good, good quality wire, it's the good silicone covered wire. And then the beauty itself is the ESC. Look at that little guy. 28 amp, hauling ass, look at this thing. Um, very straightforward on the wiring. Negative power in, positive power in, negative signal, which nobody ever uses really, and your signal wire, that's it. And then obviously you've got your motors, your three phase going out. Um, and you can wire them upside down if you want to. I don't um, because your cooling is, needs to be on the MOSFETs up here, so I like to have these facing up. I, some people for some reason like to put them upside down. Uh, that's not good for cooling. This is better for cooling. The MOSFETs, you know, heat rises, kids, and prop wash comes down. So that works out well, uh, whatever blows your skirt up, I guess. But uh, very simple to wire and um, 28 amps and they're six bucks uh, and the shipping came pretty quick I think it was a week and a half not too bad what I do with these is I mount them and then I can formal coat them I don't even use the heat shrink they do come with heat shrink by the way I don't know if it didn't fall out of that one or that one didn't have it but the other four that I put on my quad actually had little uh, clear heat shrinks and a sticker that says 28 amp BL Heli S that you can put on there if you uh, if you so desire. These are actually going to go on a drone project of mine, not a quad. Well, it's a quad, but you know it's a GPS drone. Um, but I bought eight of these and I have four of them on my other quad, which I'll show you shortly. So what I do is I cover the entire back. I can formal coat the back, then I put. Uh, good old-fashioned 3M psycho tape on them, double-sided tape, and I stick them to the arms. And the tape that I use, trust me, they're not coming off. Then after I wire them up, I can formal coat the whole top, and that's it. I'm done. So here's what it looks like on a finished product. Bada bang, pretty. Okay, I did. Uh, these are my crap baby blender props. Um, and I just did the driveway punch test. I haven't actually taken her out and flown it yet. Everything came back cool. These do, I also want to note, I don't know if it says it on these or not. Anyway, these go all the way up to, they are rated for 5S. So for those of you power junkies, these might be good to play with um, if you want to do the 5S gig. Like I said, I just do the tape underneath. Very, very strong tape. Solder them up. Clear coat them, poof, done. Uh, I'm this particular quad is a Kakute, and the next one I'm putting them on is an Omnibus F3. But uh, they synced up to BL Heli S, absolutely fine. Uh, I plugged them into, uh, uh, updated all the firmware, put my brake on stop. I did some basic, basic test flights. Um, my Star Wars theme, I know, gets old after a while, but I love it. Um, and yeah, they fly fine so far. I have not tested the durability of them yet. You know, only time will tell. But uh, I don't run super hot 4S batteries. Uh, this is just a test battery. It's a 3S. But um, I usually run 1,300 milliamp to 1,500 milliamp 4S. Um, but I don't run psycho huge batteries on mine. So they should last a good long time. But shit, for six bucks? Really? Can you go wrong? Third, almost a 30 amp uh, ESC. I'll read the specs to you real quick. Uh, let's see, high performance EFM8BB21, 50 megahertz MCU, BL Heli S. It does dampen light, which they all BL Heli do. It's automatic, in case you didn't know. 
Uh, firmware upgradable via SignalWild, which it does work. Supports motors with super high KV, can handle up to 5,000 K ERPM. Reliable digital signals, including D Shot 6, 3, and 150. That's 600, 300, 150. Small and light, and they are light. They are extremely light. They're two grams a pop. Um, they have a continuous current of 28 and a burst current of 40 amps for 10 seconds. There's no back, obviously, and voltage input is 2 to 5S LiPo. Uh, these things are the cat's ass. I mean, if they hold up, uh, when I start blowing all of my all-in-one uh, ESCs that I run on most of my quads, these are going to be my go-tos. I usually don't love individual uh, ESCs just because they add weight. Uh, I, people disagree with other people on this topic, but if you take like this, this is a 20 amp 4 in 1 ESC, and this is a 28 amp. Okay, they do add weight. I mean, this one weighs as much as all four of these, but you also have a shit ton more wiring too that you have to carry. It's negligible, it's a very low amount of weight, don't get me wrong. But the nice thing about these dudes is if you smoke one, you replace it. The bad thing about these dudes, you smoke one, you replace the whole damn thing, which is 25 bucks. So, or if you're running really good ESCs, a whole hell of a lot more. Um, so, yeah, so far. They work great, they wire very well, the pads seem very solid on these things. They run D-Shot 600 out of the box. Um, just absolutely zero problems. They soldered up beautiful, they're stupid tiny. I mean, I don't have huge hands. I mean, look at the size of that thing. Bam! Very small, very cool. So, um, I'll be posting some, this is kind of my test quad. I put all sorts of weird stuff into this thing. I'm gonna be testing these and just beating the hell out of them and see what I can do. See if I can blow them up a little bit. Uh, honestly, barring a crash, I don't think I've ever blown up an ESC, so I don't get real finicky about it. Um, but hey, if these things are high quality for six bucks, hell, I mean, you can't you can't go wrong with that. Um, that's the best fun you can have with your pants up by yourself. I mean, that is really cool. I'm impressed. Uh, I do recommend you can formal coat them. The reason I don't use heat shrink on bullet style ESCs is if I smash a motor, which I do often, this motor right here is bent actually, um, I can just unsolder it, wink, wink, and swap out my, you like that sound effect? I can swap out my motor without it cutting through crap and whatever else, and conformal coating is going to waterproof it better than heat open ended heat shrink anyway. So, you know, hop on Amazon or whoever, buy a bottle of this stuff for 20 bucks, worth its weight in gold. I waterproof everything. I live in the Midwest in Ohio. It's raining right now, as a matter of fact, and uh, from my micro brushless to my micro brushed to all of my quads, I waterproof everything because I like to fly in the winter. Um, well, I don't like to, but I do. So that's my two bits on these little ESCs. Um, I'm not going to do post a test flight or anything because flying's flying. It's, you know, eh. It's D-Shot 600. I'm not a good enough pilot to probably notice the difference between this and any other ESC that's running D-Shot 600. So um, I'll just post things and when they blow up. Um, but from right now, they seem to be pretty sweet. So uh, I strongly recommend these so far. If there's any technical problems, I will keep you all posted. But right now, I think these things bang for the buck, six bucks. Hell, that's awesome. So keep the shiny side up and have a good day. Talk to you later.